Well, unfortunately, <laughs> ugh, we just did a honey extraction on the 6th and 7th of July. Today is July 28th. So what is that, 21, 21 days, three weeks? Uh, noticed we were out here, well, we've been on vacation and we've had a lot of other things going on, so we haven't actually been super attentive to our hives since we did that honey extraction and was out uh, yesterday, we're out doing some things and I looked and everything looked great on all of them except for one of our hives, hive number one. Just seemed like there was almost no activity going on at the hive. So as soon as we could, we got out here yesterday and got into it and unfortunately it is uh, wrapped up in wax moths. Greater and lesser wax moths are in there. There's probably only a couple hundred bees left in the hive, couldn't find a queen. Uh, there's no honey, there's no brood. So we've lost that hive, unfortunately, in just that short a period of time. And we extracted uh, honey from that hive uh, just three weeks ago and they were doing great. And so that's how fast wax moths, when they get in here, uh, can really wreak havoc in hives. So a lot of things what we try to do here on the farm and a lot of the original point of these videos was just to archive some of the things we're doing uh, as we say our adventures out here. And so this is certainly uh, one of the things we're going to just document and figured we'd just show you some footage of what it looks like. So right there you can see crawling up the top that's a greater wax moth larvae coming up uh, on this side of this frame right here and you can see it's so that's what they look like and you can't just throw these things down on the ground i mean you do have to kill them because they can apparently crawl up to about 150 feet and go into another hive um, one nice thing uh, that we have learned is that these uh, plastic foundation frames a nice thing about these with wax moths uh, this is obviously a foundation that that has recently only recently been in there but the wax moths can't cut all the way through but if you look right here on the side here's another where they'll get on the wood on the side of the frame and start scooping it out and then actually start to form a cocoon and then that's where it's going to go it's it's silking up and making a cocoon and then it's going to turn into the pupae stage before ultimately turning into uh, a large a, a greater wax moth good example two more getting ready to or cocooning up you feed these to your chickens that's for sure uh, if you've got chickens or other things is safe as you pull these out of here catch them and uh, feed them to your feed them to your birds there's one right there so uh, the trail that they will dig through here so you can see that they've dug a wax moth has dug all the way through here and if you get to the end of it usually you can find one side or the other of this trail you'll end up finding see how they've dug through here you'll end up finding a larvae somewhere in here so right here is there is a larvae, a small, that's the greater wax moth larvae. This isn't a bad infestation, but it's enough. A lot of times get down in these grooves at the bottom and that's where they'll make their cocoons. So what we're gonna do is take all of these frames, try to clean them up as best we can and stick them in a deep freeze and freeze these, which will kill the eggs and the larvae and the pupae, and then we can reuse these frames. Here are these little black things, that's the droppings, the feces from the larvae as they're cutting through here. See, here's a really good example of just a trail that goes all the way through where they've dug through, and you can see there's a larvae right there always something to learn with these bees before we stick these into the deep freeze we need to we're going to take the leaf blower and try and blow all of these bees try and blow all the bees off of these frames so. uh, well we have gone through the seven remaining hives and they all look fantastic no varroa mites that you could really see in on any of the bees in any of the hives uh, we found the queen in four of the hives, saw a few hive beetles in one of them up at the very top in a super in the corner. So the bees are doing their job and kind of pushing the hive beetles up and out of the way. But 
no sign of wax moths at all in any of the other seven hives. Confession time. This is the hive that in the previous video up here about when we extracted honey, at the end of it, I made a comment about how if you see after you've extracted honey and put the frames back on and the bees have gone in and trimmed off all the little ends from scraping the, the frames, the wax frames, there's all these little fragments of wax and they chew that off. It fell down through the screen and it almost looked like it had snowed underneath the hive. I said in the video, it's a good idea to go back and get rid of that wax. I will be honest, we were so busy, we had so many things going on and we were getting ready to go on vacation that I forgot to go back and get that out of there. That's the hive that got infested with wax moths. And actually when you look down underneath it, which I'll show you in just a second, you can see all the larvae and uh, casings from the lesser wax moths down in there in the ground and then obviously they just migrated up into the hive so we have a screw box full of larvae and moths and pupae that we're going to go feed to the chickens ah it's frustrating so you know just that quick a couple of weeks you can lose a hive although again couldn't find a queen in there uh, there was no brood no honey uh, anything so it may have been a, a queenless hive to start with may have been weak and we just missed it didn't see it and the wax moths got in there so cleaned everything up put all the frames in freezers and uh that's how it goes i saw in a somebody else's video said that you're not a beekeeper until you've had a, a wax moth infestation or lost a hive to wax moth i guess i'd rather not be considered a beekeeper uh and not lose a hive but live and learn and uh learning lesson for us uh, anyways well, that was a, just a little update and again, an archive of something that happened here uh, for us and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, God bless.